Hey guys, Adam here. Welcome to uh, another On the Couch in My Room. Uh, okay, so this is my review for this week's The Flash. Flash versus Arrow. This is the first part of the Flash Arrow crossover, and like I said before, I will be doing a review for the second part, which was Arrow's episode, uh, just because it is still connected to the Flash, technically. All right, so the plot is uh, the flat uh, bear Team Flash has to deal with a new uh, metahuman who can turn, who can uh, amplify people a uh, certain emotion. Uh, of course, in this episode, it's rage, so he can rob banks. Uh, meanwhile, Team Arrow has has uh, traveled to uh, to Central City in order to hunt down Captain Boomerang, who doesn't make an appearance, but he's teased because they showed the boomerang. Um, while that happens, Barry gets uh, gets brainwashed uh, into being a really, really, really angry person. So, Air so Team Flash, the rest of Team Flash and Team Arrow has to team up to to stop him before he goes too far. Um, I like this episode. I really do. This is the first part of a of what what's going to be an amazing crossover event. Uh, and and from what I've seen, it's boosted ratings. It really has. Um, for both for both shows, actually. Mm. Uh, so I'm really, really, so I'm happy. Now, I'm, now, does that mean this is better than last week's? Not really. Um, there, there are problems with it. I'll get into that. But I, I just want to say this is, this is a crossover. This is, I mean, this is a superhero team up right here. This is, this is how you do a superhero team up. Um, I mean, if we take that and then we take. The second, the second half of that event and making it into a movie, you, that's what you got. That is what you have right there. And that, that's what this movie is. Um, uh, and because you, you got everything. You got, the, you got the meat. You got the banter. You got the fallout. And then you got the fight. And then you got the team up again. Um... And that that's basically the, that is the trope of a superhero team up now uh and of course acting is really good uh Stephen Amell and uh Grant Gustin's chemistry top notch as it was when uh when Barry Allen first appeared in uh Arrow um of course every of course comedy is great especially with Cisco and uh Felicity fantastic um uh, even the drama, the drama is really good because now we get to see uh, see Barry uh, be portrayed as the villain. Like he's hated now, like or at least towards the people, towards uh, by his by uh, Iris anyway. Uh, but I mean, eh, I'm gonna get a negative, and that's kind of a negative there. But I do like how they're taking that story somewhere uh just to add a little more oomph i guess um but um uh, <clears throat> but uh also um thawne um uh, uh eddie thawne is wanting to after finally deciding to go oh i believe uh, uh, the Flash, I believe in the Flash. He then immediately decides to ask the man a task force to hunt the Flash down because he believes the Flash is a menace, which get, which makes you wonder about him. Why would he all of a sudden? Why would he all of a sudden do something like that? That he had no reason. So uh, if you're and if you're a comic, if you're a Flash fan, you would know possibly know about someone with his last name who he might really be um who knows um i won't say anything because i don't want to spoil anything um uh the villain was underutilized and this is where i'm getting the negatives um was, was very much underutilized uh hell we didn't even get see him get caught at in the end of the episode he just gets caught we see him. We see him already in in the metahuman prison. That's it. Um, uh, 
Which, which was disappointing because I really would have loved to see how uh, Flash and Arrow caught him. Um, also, one of the other problems I had with it was Iris all of a sudden hating Barry. Now, now of course it was, or Flash anyway, I should, uh, I should say. Uh, the reason being is uh, it is a little sudden for that, uh, for the whole her hating Flash thing. Even though he actually uh, did say, look, I was controlled, I, which was true. He was actually controlled. He was being controlled. He couldn't, he couldn't control, he couldn't control himself, uh, which made him attack Eddie, uh, Eddie, and just like, he was just, yeah, <laughs> and it was scary. It was actually pretty scary, but she just, she hates him now. She really does. And now, and I feel like, I, th I mean, there's definitely more to this. There's definitely more to this whole task force thing, but I felt like it wasn't really warranted. Like, yes, he did indeed do, um, he did indeed do something terrible, but she didn't really bother to ask why. I mean, yeah, she says, like, this isn't you. This isn't you. It's like, well, how would you, what would you know? She, I mean, like, she obviously knows Barry. She obviously knows. Or the Flash, I, so, I should say. She knows enough about him to go, oh, wait, there's something wrong, but she doesn't. She doesn't kind of, she really doesn't even bother to ask that question, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to think. There was another negative, uh, and I can't think of it right now. Um, honestly, I don't think there was any other negatives. I really did like this episode though. I really did. Um, uh, it was to me a lot of fun. Um, so, so yeah, um, I guess that's it because I got other stuff. I got other videos to do. So, um, final score, uh, flash versus arrow. I give an eight out of 10. I really enjoy this episode. I thought it was a good, uh, good first hour f to this two-part event, uh, and um, I can't wait for the second one, uh, which I, uh, which I haven't watched yet, but I will, uh, and I'll, and I'll uh, get that posted maybe probably tomorrow um, when I'm not busy, but I'll definitely get that up. Uh, but I will also, but I'm gonna get uh, go ahead and review Marvel's Agents of Shield tonight as well and get that up as well so yeah uh that's about it um eight out of ten enjoyed this episode really did uh, i can't wait to watch the arrow one and i will see you guys next time so y'all have a wonderful day bye